Hey, I like to ask about enough about the food. I like to ask about uh, yeah, no, routi- so routines and rituals. So, like when you audition for stuff or when you're on set, do you have any like things you habitually do to get in the zone or get ready? Or get prepared? Uh, it depends on what. Well, first off, I I really really don't like auditioning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that's a pretty common thing. Right. It's uh, I I get super nervous. It feels so. Um, just fake and I mean of course it's fake acting is it's all fake but but it just feels so I don't know it doesn't feel organic it feels like you're just showing you're just showing some sort of representation of what you might do on the day yeah and and I don't know I I can come into a room and I, I'll love to sort of uh put off the actual audition as long as I can so I'll just start talking about whatever oh really yeah it's a really bad habit and sometimes I can tell they're kind of annoyed by it but yeah i'll talk about the traffic the weather whatever interesting college basketball yeah. you're just procrastinating in the audition i do and then i'm like holding the sides and and finally they'll usually be like okay do you want to oh oh yeah and it's like i forgot that I, I was there to audition i just try to make it as i try to make it as uh chill and normal like we're just friends and then oh we have to do this thing too when you jump in the ocean do you go slow toe one toe at a time, or do you just jump in? Very slow, because okay. I yeah, actually, I actually, I'm, I'm quite afraid of the ocean. So. <laughs> what a perfect comparison! It I is. For yeah, you. I just got in the ocean last year for the first time. Yeah. What? Yeah, I went, I went uh, snorkeling in Kauai. That's crazy. Yeah. I, have, I have so many questions. Yeah. How does the nervousness manifest itself when you're when you're super nervous? Uh, it depends. If it's a if it's a character that I really sometimes you know I, I can be really excited about an audition if it's a character that that I I'm connected with and I feel close to and you, you know it, it sort of it just feels comfortable. Um, if it's something like the dialogue's not great or the script's not great and I'm just not connecting to it, uh, I don't overcome it. I mean, it usually I, I'm not good enough to to hide that. I, I think. I yeah. Think I, I just sort of I I try to just connect with the reader as much as possible in that in that situation. And and uh, you know, I had this trick for a while where, um, I, well, I noticed that I was leaving auditions and. I couldn't remember what the reader even looked like. I would just, uh, because I was so in my head and so, you know, on the page, whatever. And um, so I was like, I'm going to start noticing something specific about the reader. I love that. And, you know, and right before we'll start, even start doing the sides, I'll notice something about their earring or their collars messed up or like, the, you know, something. Uh, and that is my color. And it, no, exactly. See, <laughs> and it connects them. Yeah. It, it, it connects me to them in some interesting way. And if they have the first line, then it, it sort of pops me out of that. But I'm already connected to them. Yeah. Uh, if I have the first line, I can just sort of take it into into that. Um, and then as I leave, I try to remember as much as I can about the reader. Um, and that's been helpful. And it gets me in the room. It Get gets you present. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. That's been something. Uh, I actually haven't auditioned for for a while, uh, not because I, I don't have to audition, but it's just been a bit slow. But uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it'll be interesting to get back in a room now. It's a little. It'll be. I don't know. It's been. You'll a while. probably have more confidence now after doing a show where Maybe. you could just. You probably at this point know. could just show up and do your thing. I can shoot myself in the foot. I can. I can. I can sort of <laughs> think like, you know, I should have more confidence because they've seen my work and they know that I'm capable of being on a TV show, but, uh, but I'll probably disappoint them. <laughs> I'll pro- they'll probably be like, oh, we thought he was much better, funnier. He's not funny. <laughs> you know. So I, I started an acting class last year, and I had a teacher, Patrick Kavanaugh, who mm-hmm. I interviewed him on this, and he, he shared this idea of everybody gets nervous for auditions. Yeah. And he, and this changed me. It's like, how does that nervousness manifest itself and then address that? If you get like dry mouth, make yeah. sure to bring water. So right, you, right. you can like don't run away from the nervousness or let it cripple you. Figure out what it is and right. then handle it. And that I found to be very helpful. That is cool. There was a a long time ago I was in a an acting class in New York before I went to grad school, even is when I was just deciding to be an actor. And it was uh the actor Austin Pendleton was was um the teacher. Oh wow. And this uh, this actress was in the scene. She had to be making tea, and she was fumbling with the tea and dropping it. And the 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 guy in the scene, 
uh, it was sort of a flirty scene, right? Yeah. And the guy in the scene was at the kitchen table. She's at the stove making tea, and she kept dropping, and, and she stopped the scene and said, you know, I think I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous about, like, all the props and all the stuff. And I remember Austin said, well, then the scene is about that. You're nervous in this scene about making tea in front of him because there's this uh, this electricity running between you. Oh. And uh, so another example of using the the nervousness yeah um so you know i try to remember things like that yeah and uh i think that's helpful for sure yeah. just don't let it be there figure out what it is about yeah, it yeah it's just a part of yeah. it yeah. and then maybe it goes away well i heard did you ever read that big magic book Mm-mm. it's the e pray love lady she wrote it about like artists we we're supposed to give our art to people right and it was kind of hokey for me but i heard on an inter- interview recently talk about how like Fear, we're, we see fear and we run from it often, but like as artists, we should go to that because it means it's we're uncomfortable. We haven't done it before. Right. And she like negotiates with the fear. She's like, I'm going to, she tries to like, it's very hippy dippy, but yeah, yeah. I'm going to come to you, fear. Don't try to, because it's evolution, the fear. Like, you don't know what's going to happen, so you're not supposed to do this. But yeah. she tries to talk to her fear and is like, I'm going to, we're going to work this out. We're going to figure this out. Right. I, kinda I see that. I can see that. I, th- I think, uh, I think that's important. Uh, I think it's important to do things that that do. I do like once I have the job, I'm not afraid of, <laughs> of going towards. Uh, it's just that it's just that uh, forced awkward interaction. Uh, yeah, it's it's just the audition. I mean, sometimes I get nervous on on set if it's a big thing, you know, that that I don't know anyone on. But uh, you know, it's. Uh, it's just something we deal with, and yeah. some of us more than, than others. I've been asking people lately about winning an audition room. Do you have a way to win the audition room, you think? Oh, to like book the room? Yeah. Uh, n- no, I just... I, <laughs> I, I Well, for a while, I just wanted to get out of there without making a fool of myself. <laughs> and then that's, a a that's, that's a win. That's a small win. That's a win. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think what I was saying earlier about about taking in the reader i think i've i've tried to make the reader the most important person in the in the room whether yeah. it's the casting director being the reader or not it's it's just that's who you know if if i feel like i've engaged the reader somehow or surprised them somehow uh I love it when I actually throw the reader off a little bit. Oh, sure, yeah. When they they forget that you know. Oh, I've got. That's look at good. That. I love that. So that's you know, there's little things like that 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 uh, that I I like. Yeah, I've had a lot of casting directors on lately. Pro tip: oh, good, good casting directors oh, yeah, come nice. on your podcast. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's a real power flip. <laughs> but then they always talk about like you know w- booking, winning the room, and but they can never like explain how people do it. So I'm just curious how. Yeah, if basically you it. go in and you talk about anything but that's the, not the audition <laughs> yeah. for as long as you can, and uh, uh, you know. And, well, I think there is something to that though. There's, yeah, there is. There's it's kind it's kind of a game. Sometimes I think I think okay, I'm coming in the room now. I'm going to, and what that means for you, casting director, is you get to take a break from the work for the day because I'm going to give you, like, I'm giving you something. <laughs> That's sort of the attitude I sometimes yeah. have, which is, I don't know, maybe I seem like an asshole, but like, I, I do. I think, like, let's just take a break from the day. Let's just hang out and, oh, we'll read this thing too. And then we'll hang out. And, I know. like that. Yeah. So it's like, I'm giving them something. I, I like that. I can see that you doing that because yeah. you come across as very confident. Do you realize that? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not at all. It's funny because no, as you you've see, been talking, I see that. You know, but you I'm come across as so confident. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the characters I play. Yeah, uh, that's. Well, it. even your look. You're wearing bracelets. A lot of. I mean, that's a confident <laughs> look. I did that. So the, I tried to make a jingle on the. <laughs> I wear brace, I'm only wearing one, but I wear bracelets too. It's a confident look, I think. You know, it's actually, I think if you wear a lot of bracelets and necklaces and things, I think it's because uh, you're unsure about what you should oh, be wearing. Fuck. <laughs> so you just put them all off. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. I think that's the deal. It works for Billie so, Eilish right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've got two necklaces. And yeah, three, you're really you're accessorizing like mad right now. Three bracelets. It that's works. It. I've got it, one tattoo. That's all I've got. <laughs> it makes no noise.